so I'm guessing that Kerm will be the target, but uh, you know the, the RMP really can kind of do whatever he wants and uh, Flynn is moving out here we'll have to see exactly how he wants to open up he's gonna sap the pet uh, which leads me to believe he wants to kind of sap the warlock after that but instead it looks like he's just gonna go right back uh, over onto that paladin for a sap yeah and he does land it so they're gonna open up on the warlock here and yeah, the warlock is actually in the demon skin already so it's not gonna take too much damage hopefully and Kostika, uh is actually very good at peeling RMPs from my own experience so there we go double shock from onto Flynn and Marm Here's what I'm talking about, stopping the damage so much, and Vertex Edge is only 50%. I don't think that AOE sack might have been necessary, but maybe it was because of that blind that might have been coming in there, but Vertex Edge is still at 50%, and I know that this team has actually been struggling against RMP before in ladder, so uh, see if they have anything up their sleeves for uh, for Flynn. Yeah, and there was the deep freeze sheep on the Kurum. He's going to have to trigger that immediately. Uh, Ore Mastery has him popped. He's trying his best to top off his Warlock, but his Warlock's getting a dance on here at 40% HP to bop. Uh, maybe going to have to be used. It looks like it was. Uh, Vertex, though, is just taking so much damage, and Kurum is uh, unable to, uh, to top him back off. He does fake this, yes, but he goes right into another sheep and is not able to be devoured, and he has nothing left. Bubble is already gone. It was emptied, and I think Vertex is just going to die here at 10% HP. Uh, Costa is in a deep freeze, and Vertex just had nothing left. There's another sheep, another fear on a Kurum, and Vertex will indeed fall. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm not, I'm not that surprised. Uh, I know that these guys have been struggling with RMP before, and I think their main comp, I know their main comp, is, uh, you know, Protection Thundercleave. As soon as you see them. Then they got a double shockwave, so it was a really good job. And as I said, I mean, Demon Armor Plus, we also had, um, you know, Sacred Shield and everything, so it was basically as well as it could have gone, I, I feel. And Vertex is going to be throwing down Hellfire in the middle, sending in his pet. Koska is going to get in combat, so there's not going to be a sap this game, so this is going to be a nice opener for them, I feel, uh, as long as Costa doesn't get stuck in a, an awkward spot into a sheep or anything. Yeah, for this Moving in right now, we're staying there for quite a while. Opening a Vertex once again, Marm blinking in to be able to land the Paladin on Kurum, I suppose. Um, and Vertex is actually not taking too much damage so far. I think it's because of the oh. skin and the Sacred Shield. But Koska, Koska actually got mind controlled off the bridge, though, and that is so bad for him. Uh, so he was out of the fight for quite a bit of time. He's going to charge back in, though, and land that Kunk Blow on Flynn. There might be a Triple Shocker right here. I think he's in a very good position. There it is. It doesn't it actually hit uh, Flynn, though, but it did hit Hulk Pass and Marm. Stopping quite a bit of damage, but Vertex is still at, at down so low health, and it's only from the mage pretty much. I mean, the, I mean, it's only from the rogue pretty much. But I mean, rogues do actually do a lot of damage to cloth targets, obviously. Yeah, there's the aura mastery pop by Kurum, and he's trying desperately to spam those flash kills and and get him top back up. But I mean, he's still at 30% HP, standing on top of his portal. He's not really going to be able to get away at all. I mean, he needs to get some UA fears or something here on Flynn, but Flynn's just going to trinket that. And I feel like Vertex uh, may just die. Battlemaster and Hellstone both have been popped. Kurum going to go into the bubble, spamming flash of light, but flash of light is just not really enough healing output to ever top him back off. And uh, there's the MD uh, bop was used, so it was MD'd immediately. Hulk Pass was taking some damage, uh, the Warlock did jump down to the bottom, but Kerm's going to be a good swap target now here as well. He has no bubble, he has no trinket, uh, he can either be uh, you know, CC'd or he can just be killed, and it looks like they want to go onto him. He does have Sacred Shield up, uh, he's going to get Vanish Cheap Shot here though, Kidney will follow that up. If any damage can come in here from Marm, I think it might just be the end here for Kerm. Yeah, and Vertis was actually put into a full blind. He's out of that now, but it's in a full normal, so Vertis is completely out of the game right now. And Krim is taking so much time, under 4,000 health, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go down. There's an intervene from Kostigov, it's not, not going to be enough, and, and Krim do, uh, does go down.